Hey friends, welcome to today's video. My name's Stephanie and today I have a couple of fall nail art tutorials for you. I know a lot of people are already moving on to holiday designs, but it's still November, so I wanted to share a couple of looks that I'm planning to wear for the rest of the month, and I hope I inspire you to try some of these. As always, everything that I use will be in the description box down below, but for now, let's just get into the looks. The first look I have is one that I have been so obsessed with lately. It is a classic velvet nail and all you need is a magnetic polish and a magnetic wand. For this look, I'm going to be using Island Peace Fawn, which is this beautiful, warm, bronzy copper shade that has this really beautiful golden copper shimmer and there's some extra sparkle outside of that. So the technique that I use is to put the magnet on the side of my nail as I paint on on my first coat and as soon as I put the brush back into the bottle I move the magnet right away and I've been trying this new thing where I just pull the magnet a little bit farther away from my nail but then also put it to the other side to shift the pigment around and get it a little bit more evenly dispersed and you can see just from the first coat alone it looks so beautiful it just gives you instant velvet nails but because this polish has a little bit of a jelly formula you can still see through to your nail line so i'm going to be doing a second coat here and basically repeating the same process i personally think ilmp magnetics and cirque magnetics are the best polishes for velvet nails because they are more on the jelly side and they really allow the magnetic shimmer to move around as freely as possible so it might take a little bit of practice but with those two brands you definitely will get a better result I really love this warm copper for November especially, but I wanted to kind of try my hand at the cherry mocha nails, but make it the velvet version. So for this look, I'm going to be layering a couple of Cirque polishes, starting with Coco Jelly as my chocolate base. This is such a beautiful, warm brown base that definitely looks good on its own. I mean, maybe not super flattering here on the first coat, but I at least do two coats for Cirque's jellies. And now for the star of this Manny, I'm going to be using Cirque Colors Chemistry, which is this silver magnetic that is sheer enough to essentially be a topper. So I actually accidentally had a lot of polish on my brush so this was a little bit of a thick and messy coat but I am basically doing the same technique and look at how that pigment moves around it is insane I was just so impressed with how that magnetic shimmer moves around so easily so to add the cherry color instead of going with a cherry red I decided to use Cirque's Marsala jelly which is this beautiful muted marsala color just to make it a little bit more fall appropriate maybe so i'm trying to do a thin even coat over the top of the magnetic layer to try and get that cocoa color underneath to come through so okay maybe i didn't quite get that cherry mocha nail color that's been trending but i still really love the outcome i think this is a beautiful color and more importantly i had fun layering these different jellies if you have a ton of jellies I would highly recommend getting chemistry. The next design we have is a classic plaid flannel design. These can definitely get complicated with the more lines that you have, but I definitely like doing this design as like the bare minimum to get the plaid effect. So I'm going to be starting with Olive Ave's Copper, which is this beautiful rustic orange polish. And then I'm going to be going in with Marsala Jelly again to start blocking off the thicker stripes of color. So I normally just do one vertical and one horizontal stripe off center of my nail. And then I go in with a darker version of that color to do these thinner stripes on the opposite sides that I just painted on. And to complete the design, I'm going to go in with the lightest color, which is an off-white kind of cream, and painting these thin stripes down the centers of the thicker stripes of color. And there you go, you have easy plaid nails. If you wanted a little more detail or to challenge yourself, you can also outline the thicker stripes of color with your lightest shade as well. Another classic fall design, in my opinion, are tortoise nails, which I've never done before. So this is a totally new venture, and I decided to be bold and go blonde. 
For my base color, I'm using Vanilla Bean by Cirque because it's this beautiful creamy ivory shade with these black specks. And I'm also going to be using NSFW Jelly, which is a black jelly polish to create those tortoise spots, I guess. I'm not really sure what they're called, but I'm starting to dab on these little irregular shaped blobs in different areas of my nail. And I'm just going in very lightly first because we are going to be layering this look up. I know the brown tortoise design is a lot more common for this time of year, but I figured it would be a little bit easier just working with two colors but i can see how at first this is kind of looking like a cow print maybe i feel like this is one of those trust the process kind of designs so you shouldn't be too hard on yourself i can't help it because i think tortoise nails are just supposed to be a lot more of a free flow abstract design and i really struggle with those it's so out of my comfort zone and so i can't help but kind of pick it apart but i think maybe it kind of turned out cool in the end and it's also hard because I'm just looking at one nail as opposed to the whole mani. But yeah, this black jelly is super sheer. So I had to do a third layer of lightly dabbing to get the spots as dark as I wanted them. And I can kind of see the vision. I think it's like getting there. My spots aren't quite as layered looking, but I decided that maybe to tie it all together, I can do one coat of Cirque Colors Organza, which is this really beautiful, creamy, off-white kind of ivory jelly. And I do like that it gives it that encapsulated milky kind of look, but you'll have to let me know how I did for my first try. A design that I know I love though is a classic half moon and I decided to make it a little bit more pretty by doing a sunflower design. So I'm using Dimension Nails Owl Butterfly as my base. It's this really beautiful terracotta color that I have been loving this season. And then I'm going in with a dark brown cream to create the half moon design that's going to be the center of my sunflower. So I start by creating a small vertical line to kind of determine the height of my half moon and then I'll do a curved line going down to the base of my cuticle and then repeat that on the other side to create my half moon which is basically a little half circle. I'm obviously using a detail brush which I think helps get the shape exactly how I want it. The shape doesn't matter too much though because we are going to be painting petals on top of that and I'm going to be using Zoya's Honey which is my favorite yellow for this time of year. So going in with a clean detail brush, I start painting my little petals and I'm slightly overlapping them on my half moon that I just painted because I kind of like that look that it's actually growing out of it instead of the petals being behind it. So you're going to continue this around the whole half moon and you don't have to worry about making all of the petals perfect or evenly spaced or anything like that. I think it's totally fine to embrace the beauty and imperfections, but if you happen to make a mistake or want to fix up your petals, you can easily do so by painting over them using your initial base color. So you can definitely leave this look as is, but if you want to add a little bit more detail, you can go in with a slightly deeper, almost caramel kind of shade to add some detail to your petals. And it's super simple. You're just going to be creating these little short strokes coming from the center of your flower out towards your petal. These definitely can be a little bit messy. They just add so much detail to this look. It is so, so beautiful. I ended up also stippling some light brown to add some detail in the center of my flower as well. And I am just so obsessed with this look. It's been one of my favorites for years. I love sunflowers so, so much. Next, I have this super simple floral and kind of vine design that I really love to do. I think it's so fun to go with a bold base color and then metallic accents. So I'm going to be using Jostler as my base. It is this super stunning blue. And then my metallic is going to be Zoya's Soleil, which is this absolutely gorgeous, warm, sparkling cider kind of color. So going in with my trusty detail brush, I'm going to start by creating just the stem initial around the corner of my nail. You can really paint it in whatever corner feels the most comfortable to you. Then you can start painting your leaves and I start by creating the top center one in this little kind of teardrop shape 
and then I'll paint them going down so that way the outer leaves get a little bit longer just to add some detail and variety to the shape. I honestly love how simplistic this is. You can even just add another vine in the opposite corner and just call it a day. But I think it's super cute to add in at least one little flower. So I'm just creating these five dots in a cream color and then dotting the center with that same golden metallic shade. And lastly, I added a few more details with these three little dots and some more leaves next to the flower on the other side. It's just such a cute and simple look and you can easily change up the colors too. And my last design is this super cute fall motif mani. So I have some mushroom, an acorn, a cute little fall toad, but you can obviously paint whatever little designs that you want, but I do think you should give the toad a try. So it's basically gonna be a little half moon shape, but I'm just painting it in the corner of my nail. And then I'll go in with the dotting tool in the same color to create the spot where the eyes are gonna be. Then I'll go in with a slightly smaller dotting tool dipped in black polish to actually create the eyes and then with an even tinier dotting tool i'll go in with white polish to create the little highlights this is obviously optional but i think it adds such a cute detail so then with a small brush i'll go in and paint a little smiley face and there you have your little toad he is so precious so i'm going to paint some little mushroom in the opposite corner i'm starting by painting these little stems in two different sizes and then going in with this bright reddish orange shade to paint the mushroom caps. You can definitely use a brush if you want it. I just figured I can use the smaller dotting tool that I have. So once you are happy with the shape of your caps, you can go in with a cream color to add some spots to your mushroom if you want to give them a little bit more character. Next in this little empty space, I thought a little acorn can fit in here. So I'm starting by painting like a triangle shape, but a very rounded one, almost like a guitar pick or something. <laughs> Then going in with a darker brown, you're gonna add the little cap of the acorn and then the little stem and there you go. It is just so freaking cute. So lastly, I'm gonna add in a little flower here. I just figured these little designs were giving me foresty cottage core kind of vibe. So why not add in a tiny little sunflower too? And here is the finished look. I think it is just so adorable. Obviously the little froggy is my favorite, but I also really love the acorn and mushroom. So that wraps up my fall nail art tutorials. I really hope that you enjoyed these looks. I know some of them were on the very simple side and then others were a little bit more detailed and intricate, but either way, the whole point is to enjoy the process of painting and trying something new. So I would love to know which of these looks was your favorite or which one you would love to try. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.